Welcome to my presentation on level three linear, uh, yeah, level three linear equations. Okay, so let me let's let's make up a problem. Let's say I had x plus two x plus three is equal to uh, minus seven x minus five. Well, in all of these linear equations, the first things that we the first thing that we try to do is get all of our variables on one side of the equation and then get all of our constant terms on the other side of the equation and then it actually will become a level 1 linear equation. So, the first thing we can do is we could try to simplify each of the sides. Well, we on this on this left side we have this x plus 2x. Well, what is x plus 2x? Well, that's like saying I have one apple and now I have two apples. So, here I have 1x and now I have two more x's and I'm adding together, so that equals 3x. 3x plus 3 is equal to minus 7x minus 5. Now let's bring the 7x over onto the left hand side, and we can do that by adding 7x to both sides. 7x. This is a review. We, we're adding the opposite, so it's negative 7x, so we add 7x, so that's why. And we do that because on the right side, these two will cancel. And the left side, we get 10x plus 3 equals. And on the right side, all we have left is the negative 5. We're almost there. Now we're at a level, what is this, a level 2 problem. And now we just have to take this 3 and move it to the other side. And we can do that by subtracting 3 from both sides. That's a 3 minus 3. The left-hand side, the 3's cancel out. That's why we subtracted 3 in the first place. And you have 10x equals, and then minus 5 minus 3, well, that equals minus 8. Now, we just multiply both sides of this equation by 1 over 10, or the reciprocal of 10, which is the coefficient on x, times 1 over 10. You could also, some people will say, well, we're just dividing both sides by 10, which is essentially what you're doing. If you divide by 10, that's the same thing as multiplying by 1 over 10. Well, anyway, the left-hand side, 1 over 10 times 10, well, that equals 1. So we're just left with x equals negative 8 over 10. And that can be reduced further. They both share the common factor 2. So you divide by 2. So it's minus 4 over 5. I think that's right, assuming that I didn't make any careless mistakes. Let's do another problem. Let's say I had. 5, that's a 5, x minus 3 minus 7x equals x plus 8. And in general, if you want to work this out before I give you how I do it, now's a good time to actually pause the video and you could, you could try to work it out and then uh, play it again and, and see what I have to say about it. But assuming you want to hear it, let me go and do it. Um, so let's do the same thing. We First of all, we can merge these two x's on the left-hand side. Remember, you can't add the 5 and the 3, because this 3 is just a constant term, while the 5 is 5 times x. But the 5 times x and the negative 7 times x you can merge. So 5, you just add the coefficient. So it's 5 and negative 7. So that becomes negative 2x minus 3 is equal to x plus 8. Now, if we want to take this x that's on the right-hand side and put it over the left-hand side, we just subtract x from both sides. The left-hand side becomes minus 3x minus 3 is equal to, these two x's cancel out, it's equal to 8. Now we can just add 3 to both sides to get rid of that constant term, 3 on the left-hand side. These two 3's will cancel out, and you get minus 3x is equal to 11. Now you just multiply w both sides by negative 1 third. And once again, this is just the same thing as dividing both sides by negative 3. And you get x equals negative 11 over 3. And actually, let's, let's just for fun, let's check this just to see. I mean, the cool thing about algebra is if you have enough time, you can always make sure you got the right answer. So we have. 5x, so we have 5 times negative 11 over 3. So that's, I'm just, I'm just going to take this and substitute it back into the original equation. And you might want to try that out too. So you have 
minus 55 over 3. That's just 5 times negative 11 over 3. That's a 3. Minus 3. And what's 3? 3 could also be written as minus 9 over 3. I'm skipping some steps, but I think you, you know your fraction's pretty good by this point, so that's minus 9 over 3. And then minus 7x is the same thing as plus 77 over 3, because we have the minus 7 times minus 11, so it's plus 77. And, and the equation is saying that should equal minus 11 over 3, that's what x is, plus and 8 is nothing more than 24 over 3. Let's add this up. Minus 55 minus 9, that's minus 64, if I'm right. Yeah, that's minus 64. And then plus 77, minus 64 plus 77 is 13. So the left hand side becomes 13 over 3. And then the right hand side, Minus 11 plus 24, well, that's 13, and we still have over 3. So, looks like we got the right solution. It checks out. So, the correct answer was minus 11 over 3. Hopefully, you're ready by now to uh, do some level 3 problems. The only thing that makes this a little bit more complicated than level 2 is you just have to remember to merge the variables in the beginning and um, know that you can subtract variables or constants from both sides. Have fun!